In this problem, we have a layer of liquid B floating on liquid A. And when this incident angle starting in liquid A hits the AB interface at an angle, incident angle of 36.5 degrees, it is totally internally reflective. Mean that, meaning that at this angle, it goes straight 90 degrees. Anything greater than this angle, and it'll be bounced right back into liquid A. So it won't actually go into the liquid B, it's going to stay in liquid A. So if, if this angle was less, so it was going straight into B, it would go straight in a little bit, and it would kind of curl a little bit this way. And as we got out further, it starts coming closer and closer down to the interface. And at 36.5 degrees, this angle is 36.5 totally internally reflected, meaning it goes 90 degrees. This is called our critical angle. So we'll call it theta C, critical angle, is 36.5 degrees. Now, if we put this in our formula, Ni sine theta I equals N transmitted sine theta transmitted. It's a critical angle because at this point we get 90 degree, uh, 90 degree transmission. So with not sine 90 is just 1, so it's just NTL by itself. So now I'm going to put in critical, because this is the critical angle. Sine theta critical equals NT over NI. Okay, so this is our critical angle. So call this critical angle for with the liquid B above it. Okay, and we're asked to find what the ratio is of the index of refraction B to the index of refraction C. So we're actually looking for NB over NC, this ratio, okay? So what we can do is uh, make formulas for each of these cases B, which we've done. Let's do the same for C. So we're told that theta, the critical angle for C is 47.0 degrees, okay? And we can do the same kind of thing. Sine theta critical for C is equal to and transmitted divided by an initial. And initial is the same because it's always in A. So in A. And transmit is different in different cases because in the first case it's transmitting into B. It's not actually transmitting into it, but that's the, the top one. And, and transmitted in the second one is C. So basically, we have sine. And we're just going to put in B. I'm going to subscript it B now. Equals NB over NA. So this is my critical formulas. And sine theta C is equal to NC over NA. Okay, what's common in these two cases? Well, NA is. So, I don't really care what the index refraction of A is, because I don't need it. So what I'll do is I'm going to solve for A in both these cases and set them equal to each other. And B over sine theta b, I know theta b, and na equals nc over sine theta c, and I know theta c. So now I set these equal to each other, and b over sine theta b equals nc over sine theta c. So it's basically just na equals na, and I want nb over nc, so I'm going to, well, solve nb or NC equals sine theta B over sine theta C. So now all I do is plug in sine theta B is my critical angle for my B when B is up on top, and that is 36.5 degrees. divided by sine critical angle when C is on top, and that is 47.0 degrees. So that is my ratio NB over NC. 
So when I actually put that in, I get an answer of 0 0.813 as my ratio. Final answer.